Good morning, Rain, ISSA. Thank you guys for, uh, first of all, offering the opportunity to become a um, master trainer through you guys. All right, so let's get into it. First question is, why is personal training vital to achieve success in your education and career? The education prepares you to train multiple people because it's not one size fits all. You know, um, it's not like, you know, you have some knowledge about personal training and fitness, but you don't know how to apply it. It's a big difference between having knowledge and applying it. Um, I think the education is, is very vital because it's the backbone to what we do as trainers. If we're not properly educated, how can we train to teach somebody, you know? Um, I've been training since the age of 15 years old as far as exercise, you know, and I've over the years, I'm now 37, over the years I've never stopped exercising. Even when I wasn't certified as a trainer, I used to sneak in the gym. Yes, sir, sneak in the gyms, but I had a membership, but I would train people on a low while I was working in the gym, working out in the gym, I'm sorry. And um, I just had a passion for what I do. And you know, when you're in shape, other people see that you're in shape and they wonder, what do you do, you know? So moving on to the next question. Yeah. What motivates you to achieve your education and fitness goals? My passion for fitness motivates me. I have a high passion for fitness. I love exercise and I love being healthy. I love being in shape. Um, training since the age of 15, like I said, guys, I'm now 37 years old, still getting after it. Uh, give an example of how you've overcome or help others overcome adversity. Me getting this certification was a very serious adversity. I started off with NASM. Studied it day in and day out. I was working at New Jersey Transit as a bus cleaner, cleaning buses all night from 9.30 at night to 5 a.m. in the morning. So when I didn't have a bus um, come through the, the, the line, I had my notes. I go to take the test. Failed, okay? Got a 69. You need a 70 to pass the NASM. Okay, two weeks later, took it again. Failed, one point, all right? I uh, think after that, you gotta wait two months to take the test again for the third time. Failed it again. I said, man, this is ridiculous. You know, should I give this up? Should I not pursue this anymore? And is, is, is this not the right path for me? I had so many doubts running through my mind. Like maybe this isn't for me. Maybe should I just quit and throw in the towel, give it up. Just train myself, keep it pushing, and train people um, whenever I come across them who are interested in it and not pursue and make a career out of it. So then I seen the ISSA commercial pop up Hmm, I asked to say, should I get out a shot, you know, or am I looking forward to another failure? I hit up, I asked to say, spoke to the recruiter, who was a cool guy, my recruiter. Um, his name was Christopher, I believe. And he told me how I asked to say works. And, you know, I was like, okay, cool. Another six months. So another year. All right, I could do this. Took the I say certification. Passed. Felt great. I'm like, oh, okay. Start applying for jobs, had a few interviews, a few no's, no experience. Well, I'm like, well, I've been working out since the age of 15, but on paper, you have no experience. So that was another situation where I'm like, okay, got to get to get the grind going. Uh, wind up getting a job at the gym that I was actually training at myself, just working out. I was training in the gym for about two months. Um, started in, uh, I think, August. And... Um, the manager there was like, well, you know, you're looking like you're in good shape. Just come in tomorrow for the interview. And, you know, we have a lot of people supposed to show up. So just come in with your resume, your resume, stuff like that. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, all right. I show up. Me and another guy. Only two people showed up out of like 40, 50 people. It's the Crunch Fitness over here in Delray, New Jersey, by the way. Uh, I'm looking at the other guy. He's looking at me. We're talking, you know. I'm asking what he does. He, you know, filling the guy out. He's filling me out. He's like, yeah, you know, I like exercising and I help people, the youth, the kids. I said, cool. You know, we shoot the talk and everything. And I'm looking in my mind, I'm like, man, I've been through a lot to get this certification. I'm getting this job. So I land the job. I've been a personal trainer there at Crunch Fitness here ever since, uh, I think, December. Because uh, I was full-time at Vitamin Shop. And I wanted to make sure that that didn't conflict with being a trainer at Crunch. And so that's been my journey. And you know, with the COVID situation, uh, I had to figure out how to keep the career pursuing. So I started my own business with online personal training at ironforlife.com. And what do you plan to do with your certification once you complete your course? Uh, my long-term goal in general was to become a master trainer. So 
um, and really just continue to help people and, and open my own little gym and just train people one-on-one -on -one personalized versus, you know, big box gym. Just walk through the door, you know your name, they know your name, you can speak to them and you know about the family. Make it a little bit more personalized, like personal training. Uh, so you can build that relationship. Thank you for the opportunity. Even if, even if I don't win, thank you for the opportunity, ISSA, of having such a thorough program to help people uh, pursue personal training. Marquise Dickens, ironforlife.com. If you guys can check it out, if you can. I'm signing out of here. Thank you so much for your time. Peace.